So let's now add a link so that we can browse to an individual activity. And what we'll do is we'll go back to our app.tsx and let's just copy down the activities route. And instead of activities, this will be activities forward slash and then a colon and then we'll specify ID. And this ID is our root parameter. And because we're using colon ID, this will be substituted for our ID of our activity. And what we want to do for this component is instead of activity dashboard, we want to say activity details. And what we also want to do is go to our list component. So we'll go to the activity list. And what we want to do is instead of using this select activity function, we'll remove the on click events and we'll say as equals link as the component and we'll auto import from react root to dom and then we'll say two equals and we'll add curly braces and back ticks and we'll say forward slash activities forward slash then dollar and then the activity dot id and if we go and take a look at our browser and we hover over the view on this case we can see the path that we're going to be taken to in the bottom left hand corner but we're going to see a problem when we click on this particular link and that's because we're not loading our activity when we browse to this as a root. Previously we were displaying this as a child component of our activity dashboard and we had access to the activity that was selected. Now we no longer have access to this and we also need to accommodate the fact that somebody might browse to this particular page directly and in that case we certainly wouldn't have access to our selected activity. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a method to go and get an individual activity from our API and we'll take a look at that next.